Welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. I'm Roger. I'm working on my Farmer Tech MS440. Tonight I'm going to be putting the oil pump, the clutch, probably the side cover, the bar nuts, the dogs, and chain brake on the saw. So we need to get the oil line and the oil filter. You can see how the oil line kind of goes in there one way. I'm going to turn the saw over now. Go ahead and put the oil cap on it. And I already had these bolts from where I bolted the oil pump on to be sure that I didn't push the crank bearing in too far. The oil pump pushing can go in, followed by the worm gear. This is labeled top. Clutch can go on, you turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. The clutch drum or sprocket can now go on. The clutch drum bearing can now go in. I put a little bit of grease on it prior to installation. It can go on the crankshaft, followed by, and this can be finished with the E-clip. Then before the clutch goes on, I need the spacer that's in this bag. You look this piece is labeled top now the clutch can go in this is right hand thread so to tighten it I need to turn it counterclockwise Now that the clutch is on and tight, I can put the clutch drum on. You can see they gave me a spur sprocket, actually. I'm going to change this over in the near future to a clutch drum and a rim sprocket setup. That way I can change the sprockets to whatever I want. Now that the clutch is on, we're going to move over and put the chain adjuster on. So we need to put this little o-ring on first. We can drop the gear.
I believe this is going to have to be upgraded in the very near future, but I just kind of like to get, this is only, this is only my second saw build, but I like to get them up and running before I make a ton of upgrades, and I'll do this after I get the saw up and going, because this adjuster does not work very well. So now we're ready for the chain brake. And I have the brake handle up here ready too. Put on the chain brake assembly. Take this lever, put it down on this pin. Then one of the small E clips goes on that. Now this little spring goes from this pin to the brake lever. My brake band did not have the pin in it, so I have the pin in that, and then I stuck this other lever assembly in. Now that slides into the chain brake handle. I'm trying to put this in as an assembly like this because it fits very tightly on this brake band. So far, so good. This brake handle fits tightly on this saw. Alright, I have it started on now, so I need to pry this little lever down. Okay, now the brake handle is on completely. I took a pair of bigger needle nose pliers and I was able to put them in here. I was able to put them in there, grab. I was able to put the bigger needle nose pliers here on the chainsaw case and then on the brake lever and pull down on that because the lever has the hump that engages on the brake handle so the two kind of interfere so you need to pull that down so the handle will go completely on the pin. So now that that's all on, I need to slide this up and get it onto the pin. So to get the handle the rest of the way on, I used a large pair of needle nose pliers and I grabbed a hold of this brake lever and then the case here and pulled down on it because there's this hump on the lever that engages the brake handle. So you have to pull down on that for the brake handle to go on so it will clear. So now I need to get this lever down on the pin. And if you look, the handle moves, so that helps bring it into place some.
So I was putting up a fight, so I removed the brake band. Now this lever is going on freely. And now I need another E-clip. Now the E-clip is on, so now I'm going to try to get the brake band back down into position. Pushing forward on the brake handle. I'm taking a pair of pliers, twisting forward on the lever, and right in it went. Now the last part, this big spring, already put a piece of rubber on it. And I'm using a spring tool. So since this is a, it's pretty simple, but yet it's kind of complicated if you've never done one. Here's a close up of what it looks like. Now the clutch drum or spur sprocket can go on. Then the clutch drum bearing I'm going to put a little bit of grease on that before I put that in. Now the washer and the E-clip can go on the spur sprocket. Now we're ready to put these couple of covers on. I believe this hardware was in with the oil pump. With the covers over the chain brake, now's a good time to check and verify that your chain brake works. I already did, this one works. There's this little black screw that goes down in the bottom here into the chain brake. When I was gathering the parts for the chain brake assembly, I came across the heat shield for the muffler. And then that's why they supplied another gasket. So I'm gonna remove the muffler and put that on. Now I'm ready for the bar studs. took the screw out where I had it in the chain brake. I'm going to use that screw on what they call the inside side plate, I believe. And I'm going to revisit the steel IPL 
I believe it did have a screw there. So that's something I'm going to have to find. So that concludes part two of the build series of the Farmer Tech MS440. I believe this as far as I can go before I put the rear handle on. So that's going to be the next step. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this.